welcome to Family Gamer TV. Now we're often asked about YouTube by parents. Of course we have our YouTube channel here, but there are a whole load of people creating content for families, creating video game walkthroughs, creating Let's Plays. Now one of the top guys in this space is Ali A. Now he's agreed to come on the show. We're going to Skype him in and he's going to tell us exactly what it takes to be a top YouTuber. He's also going to offer some tips for parents around games and also how to get the most out of YouTube. So let's give him a call and um, we'll see if he's there. So. Hi Ali, how's it going? Just tell us a bit about this Legends of Gaming contest that you've been in. So what is Legends of Gaming? The Legends of Gaming YouTube channel incorporates all of the best UK gamers, including myself, covering mainly Call of Duty, but it also covers FIFA YouTubers and Minecraft YouTubers and pits us against each other in friendly competition, playing games that we are sometimes good at, sometimes absolutely awful at, and we're competing both solo and in teams to all earn the all important points that will be going on the Legends of Gaming leaderboard because we're all competing to top that leaderboard to become the number one legend. That's great, but I want to know how you describe being a YouTuber if you were to tell your mum what your job was. So if I was going to describe my job as a YouTuber to my mum, how would I go about it? I would probably explain that I play video games, uh, I have a load of fun, I turn them into videos and put them on YouTube. So essentially I jump on, I think of a video idea which I think is going to be fun, creative and people want to watch. I'll then sit down and record that on the video game of my choice, drag all the files onto my PC, cut them up and turn it into a fun video, add in some music, add in some effects so that people want to watch it. I'll then create a video thumbnail which is a little preview image you get on YouTube upload it straight to YouTube to my YouTube channel where anyone in the whole world can watch my video content somehow that has turned into my full-time job it's absolutely amazing get to play games share my videos with people around the world do loads of traveling and YouTube is absolutely awesome that's great. So what do you think it takes to be a successful YouTuber? Have you got any tips for us in how to get our own YouTube channels going up the rankings? So if you're watching this right now and you think, you know what, I want to become a YouTuber, what tips would help me out? I would say if you're just starting off, you've got to make sure that the focus of everything is fun, that you're enjoying what you're doing. If it does take off, you still want to carry through that fun and enjoyment of everything you're doing. When I started off, I just put out loads of videos just for fun, just to share with my mates at school because I enjoyed it so much and I was playing games that I enjoyed and I enjoyed the whole creative process of putting a video together. So if you're giving it a go, make sure you're playing games that you enjoy, make sure you're enjoying the whole process. Don't get too down if things don't take off initially. Remember it took me a year to get 100 subscribers, so it's a long building up process initially. And uh, just enjoy what you're doing, give it a go, try out new ideas. YouTube's all about throwing out different ideas and seeing what works, and if something does work, stick with it, enjoy it, and who knows, maybe you'll get yourself an awesome big YouTube channel. And we often have a lot of parents watching our channel. What would your tips be to them to get the most out of gaming with the family? <clears throat> So what can I say to families that want to come and sit down and play games together? Which games would suit them best? What should they be looking out for? Of course, you've got the Peggy ratings on all of these games so that you don't want to be playing things that may be rated for 18 players of your kids and young. But I'd actually say YouTube again. Jump on YouTube if you're thinking about getting a game. Have a, have a look at a few videos. Do you think you'll enjoy it? Is it a good co-op experience? I think games that work really well for family members are games where everyone can get involved. We'll sit around the couch, sit around the TV, and have a load of fun. So, I don't know, jump on YouTube, search up some maybe top family games and you'll definitely come up with a load of results. See which games you think you'd enjoy, sit down. Games like Mario Party, games where you're just mixing it up, all getting the family involved are definitely top ones and means you're gonna have an awesome time. There's tons of awesome family-friendly games out there, so get your family involved. It doesn't just have to be the kids sitting down playing games, it could be the parents getting involved as well. There's tons of games out there. Now also I know some parents are a little bit apprehensive about letting their kids watch YouTube. Are there particular things you think they should check out on a YouTuber before they let their kids loose on mm -hmm. the channel? So of course there's a wide variety of YouTubers, some suited better for the younger audience, some not quite so much. If the parents are thinking, should my kids be watching this, the best thing to do is maybe just see what your kids are watching, go and watch a few videos yourself, see what that YouTuber's like, see what they say in their videos, what their videos are all about, and if you decide that you do like that content, then let your kids watch it. There is also the YouTube Kids app, which actually is just specific videos that are targeted and are kid-friendly, so you can give your kids that app and you'll know that they're only going to be watching 
watching stuff that's family friendly, which is fantastic as well. There's tons of content out there. Maybe even set up your own, your own YouTube channel and subscribe to a few channels that you think your kids would enjoy. Give them that account and then they'll get all of those videos directly to that account. They can sit down, you won't worry about what they're, what they're watching because they've got that content right there in front of them. There's so much stuff out there, so get involved, watch a few videos yourself, and then you know that your kids will be nice and happy. And how about the games specifically? Have you got any top tips? What's going to be big for families in 2015? So what would be my personal recommendations for awesome family games and kid-friendly games? I've got three you're going to list off here. First one's going to be Splatoon. I am a big first-person shooter kind of guy, but Splatoon takes this in a fun and colourful way available on the Nintendo Wii, where literally just trying to cover as much of the map as possible in your designated colour to try and win the games. I played this at E3 last year where I got some early hands-on time and it was a load of fun. You can literally run around with your Rio remote trying to paint as much of the map as possible and you can get all the family involved playing on that as well. We've also got uh, Skylanders. I've got a few cousins that are a lot younger than me and they absolutely love Skylanders. You can grab a load of figurines, place them on the little block and then play as that character in-game. It's really good fun, not too challenging, but challenging enough for people to want to give it a go and try and beat themselves and it's a great kids game. And then finally, a brand new game called Lego Worlds has recently come out, which is very similar to Minecraft but incorporates everything Lego, allowing you to create things with every Lego block imaginable, jump into a random world, paint things, build things. It's an awesome creative experience and all those games I would definitely recommend. And how about on your coverage? Is that family friendly? Do you cover kids games differently to how you maybe would cover maybe an 18 rated game? So on YouTube I cover a variety of games all the way from Minecraft and all the way up to games like Call of Duty and GTA that are mature rating but how do I sort of segregate these videos and make sure that the right people are watching the right content? I've got two designated channels, my main channel Alie, which covers it, all games, any age range, it doesn't really matter, from GTA to anything. And then my second channel, More Alley, which is specifically designed more for the younger generation, Minecraft, Lego, Mario, the fun stuff where you can let your kids sit down and watch it. At the end of the day, all of these games that I play, I enjoy and I love. And even on my main channel, despite the games maybe being mature rating, I'll try and make sure that the videos are watchable by anyone. I don't swear on any of my videos regardless. Of course, the in-game content I can't control, but I'm making sure that the videos that I put together and produce can be watched by any audience. So if someone is a little bit younger does come across my main channel, you can still sit down and know that they're not going to be hearing some crazy stuff being said from my mouth. So all the channels are fantastic. My second channel targeted a little bit more towards the younger generation with the older guys and the more mature games being put on my main channel. So try out both channels. Now last of all, do you think YouTube's having an impact in game journalism? Is it the future of how we're going to be finding out about games or is it sort of a flash in the pan? So what are my thoughts on the future of gaming journalism? As I was growing up, I would buy loads of magazines, Nintendo magazines, get all the latest information through magazines, because that was the best way to get all the latest exclusive information on what's going to be happening in the gaming world. Of course, as things have developed over the previous years, the internet allows for that instant communication and that instant source of information. So I feel gaming journalism is going to move more towards the internet and that instant access of information if a game is suddenly announced then you're going to hear it first on Twitter or even through platforms like YouTube where content creators myself can take that information, make an informational video and boom, have it up like within an hour of that information going live. So I think that more quick response uh, information that's going to be available online is going to be the direction that game journalism moves in. So we're going to be getting all of our information rather than from like written um, sources, more online, instant, on top of it so you can share it with your friends and know that information straight away because that's the power of the internet and it's how everyone's connected at the moment. That's great, thanks for your time. Really love the channel. But that's it from Family Gamer TV. We'll be back with more soon. <laughs>